All right, brothers and sisters, I'm here once again to share a message with you. This message came from God. Anything he does is for the betterment and the strength of all of us. Therefore, this message is for all of us. We're in the first book of Corinthians, chapter 13. I'm going to read verse 1 and verse 2. Though I speak with the tongues of men and of angels and have not love, I am become a sounding brass or a tinkling cymbal. And though I have the gift of prophecy and understand all mysteries and all knowledge, and though I have all faith, so that I could remove mountains and have not love, I am nothing. One of the things that the Spirit spoke to me about is the fact that our love for one another, our love from God, our love for God is our strength. I want to send this message out to all the brothers and sisters who are awakening, who are realizing who we are as Hebrew Israelites, as a nation that was targeted for destruction, targeted for enslavement, that a systematic intent to destroy, to negate, to suppress, oppress, rob, loot, plunder, rape, disparage, discredit. It is this nation from which we come. But in reality, while we go through these changes, while we have had these experiences, one of the things that you need to recognize is we've been blessed even through it all because we were not destroyed. We were not discarded. We actually overcame something that many people couldn't. Many nations under those same situations would have never made it. For those of us who are awakening to who we are, to those of us who have been awakened, the message that the Spirit of the Most High gave to me is our love is our strength. It's our power. And when I say love, I'm not talking about something weak where we give in to people where we feel it's like we have to be a go along to get along, a yes person, weak. Love is not weak. Love is so powerful. It resurrects dying dreams and brings them to fruition. It gives us hope in the middle of something that all it tells us is no. But we know in God is yes and amen. That's love. Love is when we've been down in the trenches so long, living in the refrains of the muck and mire, and yet the spiritual eye looks upon God and we find our wings. He raises us up. And the thing that love told me is the only way to express yourself, you have to give it away. You have to share it with one another. It doesn't matter how well I eat. If my brothers and sisters are hungry, then I'm hungry. And if I have food that I can nourish you with, I'm going to give it to you. That's love. That's strength. When I see you do well, I do well. There are men and women who are buried in prisons, who are crying out. I love for one another. We're going to pray for them. We're going to do everything we can to get them out, particularly those who are unjustly incarcerated. The strength of their spirit is inside of us. Our ancestors, we're the living prayers of our ancestors. We're the walking dreams of our ancestors. And we need to know that. We need to recognize how much love they had in them to keep themselves going as well as us, to carry us with the word of God. We are a spiritual people. And the spirit of God, which is love, is inside of us. It's exploding out. Those messages from God is what we need to share with one another. 
I carry the breath of my dying people who have given up their life to the cause. Their last breath is inside of me, and I am not going to let it go unheard. I'm going to share it. I'm going to keep fighting. I'm going to keep believing. I'm going to strengthen my people and be strengthened by them. And the one truth I know is without love, I'm nothing. Without love, we're nothing. But that is our greatest strength, love. Love makes me a soldier for my people. It makes me a soldier for the truth. It makes that thing in Martin Luther King Jr., even when he knew death was stalking him, love was so powerful inside of him, he kept marching on. It was that same love and truth in Malcolm X. It was that same love and truth in Harriet Tubman. That same love and truth in Rosa Parks that sat down. And the only time she stood up was for the love of her people and their right to be treated as human beings. It's the love that's our strength. When we give it to one another, when we share it with one another, when we cover one another with it, we are covering not only ourselves, but we're giving honor to God, to the creator. There is so much power, so much strength and love. I gave up and love, which is God, came in and showed out, told me about it. It's only the beginning. It just started. He has so much love that his love had mercy in him. His love is resurrecting. And that same resurrection love, that same resurrection mercy, that same resurrecting power is in us all. When Yeshua hung on that tree, it was love that put him there. It was love that raised him up. It was love that made his blood so pure it cleanses us. It's love in the word of life itself. The word of God is love. Love tolerates no rivals because nothing can stand beside it. It's so pure. It transforms us. It shows us the way. It, it, It lightens the darkness before us. And it's that same love that's in me now. That's guiding me. I'm not going to stop. I'm not going to give up. This is a word of love and encouragement. For my brothers. Who are buried in prison houses. Whose hope is lost. But the power of my love. Is coming at you. I feel you. And we can't rest as a people. Until they see the light of freedom. And the light of day. When they walk among us. And their hearts are at peace when they sleep in their own houses, in their own beds. That's when we can find rest. When the sisters who are also locked away on an overcharge or or some trumped up systematic oppression that imprisons them in order for this prison industrial complex money machine to gain profit. Off of their incarceration, we're all incarcerated until they're free. When we take our own intelligence and share it with one another to ensure that we're educated in the truth. And we educate our children, we educate our brothers and sisters. Love is not going to let us look down on each other. Love is going to make us raise each other up. Love is going to make us each other's strength. Each other's protector. Uh, uh. In that same chapter 13 in the first book of Corinthians, it speaks about the fact when I was a child, I spake as a child, I understood as a child, I thought as a child, but when I became an adult, I put away childish things. The spirit of the Most High God is growing us up as a nation, teaching us what real love is, what truth is, what strength is, what riches is, what treasures are. The treasure is in the Word of God. This treasure is in the power of His transforming spirit. And the greatest transformation we can have is to recognize the beauty of each other. The nation 
that oppresses us, the nation that enslaved us, is falling. And we're rising. But this rise is not based on what the world tells us. It's greater than that. It comes from God Almighty. It comes from the truth of his word and his spirit. When I think of little brothers and sisters that are running around in need, any and all of us that can help each other, I don't care if it's a coat to a man that has no coat. If you have coats, give him one coat. Share it. We make each other stronger. I understand we get angry. I understand we have all the human reactions that most people do. But I also understand we can pause and recognize when I strengthen you, I strengthen me. When we strengthen one another, we make our people, our nation stronger. A twofold cord isn't easily broken. Love. Love is the answer. Love will make me a soldier and lay down my life for my people. That's love. Love isn't some weak, laid back, yes, ma'am, yes, sir, thing. Although love can be very polite. Love can be very understanding. Love has order. It, it, it does not take glory in watching another person fall. Love isn't jealous. Love is pure. If I see you do well, it lets me know I can do well. It lets me know there's hope, that there's a chance. This is a message of love. This is the opportunity to take the dreams of our ancestors and bring them to fruition. This is the opportunity to let one another know we're not alone. Our greatest strength is love. Without it, just like his word says, without love, we're nothing. <laughs> Forgive me, I'm getting over the flu. I want to read a little further. Chapter, verse 3, chapter 13, first book of Corinthians. And though I bestow all my goods to feed the poor, and though I give my body to be burnt, and have not love, it profiteth me nothing. Love suffereth long and is kind. Love envieth not. Love vaunteth not itself. It is not puffed up, does not behave itself unseemly, seeketh not her own, is not easily provoked, thinketh no evil, rejoiceth not in iniquity, but it rejoiceth in truth, <laughs> beareth all things, believeth all things, hopeth all things, endureth all things. Love never faileth, but whether there be prophecies, they shall fail. Whether there be tongues, they shall cease. Whether there be knowledge, it shall vanish away. For we know in part, and we prophesy in part. But when that which is perfect is come, then that which is in part shall be done away. I'm reading different sections of chapter 13. The first book of Corinthians. Love. Love grows us up. Love educates us. Love takes the blinders off our eyes where we can see beyond the moment. Love gives us hope. And that hope gives birth to faith. And that faith gives birth to the success of our dream. Love. This is the love I want to share with you today. The love that the Spirit spoke to me. Love. The power, the truth of love. Hebrew Israelites, you are loved. If nobody told you, if you haven't heard it, let the Spirit of love surround you. Let the power of God's holiness embrace you. Listen to his word. It's pure love. It can transform your life. It's so pure. It doesn't matter 
what happened in the past. It doesn't matter how many times you failed. Love in its purest form will take you on a journey you have yet to understand. It's so shocking, so glorious. Love, in order for it to shine and show itself, in order for it to be seen, love is that one beautiful treasure that you have to give it away. It's like wisdom. Wisdom, unspoken, is unknown. A hidden treasure is worthless. Unless you find it and it shows itself and it's spent. Love. And the beauty of love, the irony of love, the more you give love, the more it comes to you and multiplies itself. It's got strength and it strengthens the giver and the receiver because love comes straight from God. Love. This is a message of love for the house, the confederate house of Israel. The message that the angel of the Lord gave to me to give to you. Israel, God is among you. He's for you and not against you. He's in the midst of you and he joys over you. Let love guide you. Let love give you courage. Let love strengthen you. It's not over. God opens prison gates and sets you free. God pays bills when it looks like it's over. God feeds the hungry stomach. And there's a kind word for you. And that word is love. Peace.